I'm presenting a report from CBC News recently, as of today, actually on May 12th. This is about CBSA officers, the same officers who are tasked with searching your passports, your documents, and doing a search on your luggage, perhaps even more investigation on your own uh, immigration background. Uh, they were, uh, uh, you know, reported on having done some violation for which complaints were filed. And CBC, uh, CBC News is, is reporting. Uh, look at what is highlighted on the yellow. Clients touch themselves soliciting bribes at the borders. Uh, thousands of dollars. A handful of luxury items, including a Rolex watch, went missing from a border services safe. Wow. Um, keep uh, reading. The CBSA investigated more than 500 allegations against staff members between January 1st, 2018 and early 2020, 500 allegations. Wow, that's a lot. Um, look at here. I made him grab his balls, then stick his fingers in the mouth to open it. The officer told his colleagues, according to the file, uh, I'll just show you something more highlighted. The border services officer in question is no longer employed with the CBS, say, you know, they are not giving you all uh, the, you know, private uh, due to privacy but uh, these these things uh, do happen missing cash uh, in other cases described in documents the cleaner found nine thousand dollars and turned it in but the wad of cash later went missing from a superintendent safe around the same time the rolex watch and iphone also went missing from that same cbsa office another officer is under investigation following bribery allegations the case dates back to august of 2018 when a cbsa employee reported finding during a vehicle search, an e-transfer receipt with another CBS officer's name on it as the recipient. Wow. Uh, take a look at this one. Uh, there, according to the report, the officer found a long series of texts from an officer allegedly offering to accept bribes in return for work permits. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is big. Uh, Officer accused of collecting women's phones num phone numbers. Out of the case, investigated by CBSA cites allegation relating to sexual harassment, officers demanding preferential status when crossing the border, and deletion of emails related to access to information requests. For example, CBSA launched a formal investigation when an agent was accused of collecting the phone number of women traveling from the, uh, from the, where? From the Philippines to later call them and ask them for dates. Oh, my God. It's not clear whether that investigation has been concluded on. Look at this one. You know, this is this is right in front of you. Um, some complaints focus on simple errors in judgment. Uh, one officer became the subject of investigation for complaining publicly about the federal government policy, sending a tweet saying the CBSA stands for can't be sure of anything. CBSA stands for can't be sure of anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the CBSA takes all allegations of employee misconduct very seriously and, and thoroughly investigate cases as soon as the code of conduct violations are brought to the CBSA. An internal investigation is undertaken. Mm, I hope. Yes, most officers are professional, says union head. Yeah. Uh, so this is what it is. I mean, they are, this is, uh, uh, you, you need to read this article. Uh, you know, Canada employs uh, about 6,500 6, border service officers to enforce laws on trade and travel and to intercept potential threats at the border. So, hey, this is on... Uh, uh, CBC News uh, on May 12th. Read it, and at least hey, next time, next time you're dealing with a CBS officer, and if you think that there has uh, been uh, some kind of misconduct or maybe you know something that you you think is not uh, okay, uh, make sure then you know you remember this new support, and you know you have something to uh, something to you know uh, launch a complaint if if.